Hello everybody, welcome back to their AI video. In this one, I am an AI RT image enhancer, and I'm gonna show you why this might be the best image enhancer on the market. I'm gonna show you how to use the software, and more importantly, I'm gonna show you three very cool things. It does a lot more than that, but I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on a couple of the things. First off, I'm gonna take a regular image and I'm gonna make it 32K. We're gonna upscale and enhance the image to 32K, it's crazy. Second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take a blurry image and make it completely not blurry. This is an amazing thing and it does it with one click. And the last thing I'm gonna show you in this tutorial is how to go ahead and remove noise from noisy images. If you've got an image from years ago and it's noisy or it was in low light conditions, I'm gonna show you how to sharpen it up and get rid of the noise. So join me, let me show you why I think this is one of the best image enhancers on the market, let's go. All right, to get started, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to AIRT.com. Link, of course, is in the description below. You will note here that you can have a free trial and this works for both Mac and PC. It's really, really good stuff. I, of course, have a Mac, so I would click on this right here and you'll see here that it has begun downloading. Once you've done that, we're gonna go into the program now and I'm gonna show you how it works. All right, so I've opened up the software and you would probably were asked or you saw that it selected your hardware automatically. So if I'm over here on the right side, you'll see here that you can go ahead and select CPU, GPU, or in this case, I've got both of them selected together. I am using the Mac version. It may be a little different on the PC, but again, it will automatically select the best thing for you. So there we go. Now, underneath that, you're going to see here AI model. Currently, there are three different models that you can choose and select from. I like to use all three of them. For this demonstration, we're going to use more detail GAN V2, but do keep in mind that the other ones are also really, really good depending on what you're going for. Also, upscaling. I have it selected to X1. This will just make the tutorial quicker, but before I go ahead and drop the uh, image in, look at this here. You'll see here that you can select up to X8. That literally means you can upscale and enhance up to eight times the original image pixel count. So if you've got a 4,000 by 4,000, it can go to 32K, literally. I'll show you that in a second here. Also, if you have a target in mind, like you want a 4K image or an 8K image, you can go ahead and select that here as well. So just something to keep in mind. The first thing I wanna show you though is de-blurring. This is absolutely the best de-blurring software I've ever seen. Let me show you why. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is de-blurring. This is absolutely wild. I'm gonna go into my Finder on my Mac. If you're on a PC, you may wanna just open up your Explorer, grab an image. I've got one called Blurred Vision 6. So this is just a stock image. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. And you'll see here automatically, the first thing you'll notice is you've got a dividing line here. So again, we're using more detail GAN V2. The left side is the original image. The right side is the de-blurred image. Now watch this. You'll see here the dog is blurry. Watch what happens when I move this to the left. The dog loses all the blur. You can completely see the dog, the details. And if you zoom in closer, you'll see here as I go in that you can even see some of the fur and everything. This is absolutely wild. Now keep in mind that not only does it de-blur it, you can also go over to the right side and upscale it if you so choose. I'm gonna show you upscaling in a few minutes here, or in a few seconds, but just keep that in mind that you can go ahead and do that. So for de-blurring images, this is wild. Look at that, absolutely crazy. Let me show you another technique we call denoising. All right, the second technique I wanna show you that it does automatically is taking noise out of images or denoising. I'm gonna go back into Finder, grab a different image for this demonstration. I'm gonna grab this one here. And if I double click on it here, and now you'll see here, it's a very old and noisy image of this attractive lady. But again, it looks like it was shot in like 1998 on an old Polaroid or something like that. No big deal, and then it was uploaded. <laughs> so here we go, I'm gonna grab this image and I'm gonna drag and drop it right here into the bottom. And you'll notice here that it has the old image still there. So we haven't lost the puppy dog that we did some work on. He's there too. And automatically you'll see, and again, we're using the same AI model, but we'll probably experiment with a few other ones in a second here. But right out of the box here, left side, right side. So if I click over here, actually, this will even show you in a different, in a different format. So on the left side, original image, right side, denoised image. Now this is a subtler effect, but when you look at it from distance, so something like this here at about a close to 100% zoom, look at that. It's smoothed it out. It's gone ahead and removed 
the majority of the noise without adjusting or making any real serious impact to the details. Now, also keep in mind, we can upscale this again. I'm gonna show you that in a few seconds here, and we can even change over the AI model. So right now we're on Detail GAN V2, but let's go ahead and try Smooth Diff version two. So this is more of a smoothing algorithm as opposed to a, a different one there. And oh, look at that. Wow, that was pretty quick. And you can see here that this has gone ahead and made a small adjustment. But again, you can sort of dial in the look that you're going for. Also, Real Photo version three. Try that one too. Once you've gone ahead and selected them, you can very quickly uh, uh, move in between them. So you can go from one to the other to the other. This one here has done a pretty good job too, although I think not quite as good as the original one. So let's go back to, let's go back to, yeah, more detail, GAN V2. And again, you can automatically see the uh, noise has been reduced, almost entirely eliminated, just using that there. Also, keep in mind, I am using two pass processing. What this means is I run the algorithm, it does its thing, and then if you click this check mark here, it goes ahead and applies it a second time. So for those images that are very, very tricky or you know you wanna get a little bit more out of them, you can go ahead and select this or you can go ahead and select that and then run a different algorithm on the second pass. I don't wanna overload you with technical details, but you can go ahead and adjust those things as you see fit to get that you look that you're going for. The final thing I'm gonna show you right now is upscaling and we're gonna upscale an image to 32K. I've never seen a 32K image before today, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here and you're gonna see here that on the left side, it is now already loaded it up at the top left, 6105 by 4070, just like I asked for. And then on the right side, 32736 by 21824. So this is what we've got here. Now, again, if we want to go ahead and check the resolution and check, you know, just at the detailed level here, you could see here that I've gone ahead and zoomed in and look at this. You could, this looks like a painting almost, kind of like when you zoom in on a painting, it's got that much detail, but a good, good painting. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and select this here. So if you notice here, I just switched windows. This is a very cool tool here that allows you to compare the left and the right side. So if you're ever not sure, you can always just swap between these two options up at the top there. And then literally, again, we've got our NVIDIA graphic card set. We've already set it to more detail. GAN V2. For two, for me, I'm going to use two-pass processing. Pardon me, two-pass processing. And again, I'm going to keep it at more detail GAN V2. Finally, if we wanted to add text, we could. But in this case, we don't because it's just a nice image here. And then, then all we got to do now is click on Run. Watch this. Here you go. It says here, original, export it. It's going to export it. It's going to cook it up, make it 32K. And that is literally how easy it is to do this with ART. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.